Jaron for the win. And San Antonio escapes 108 to 106. It's really tough to lose close games. Losing always sucks, but when it's, you know, one possession here, you're always looking back to one play, and it's all like one play could have made the difference, one stop could have made the difference, one free throw could have made the difference, all that. You know, I do think that we're encouraged by the fact that even though we know that we're making mistakes, we know that we can play better, we're still right there. Proud of the way we fought, okay? On a back-to-back, -back, we're playing hard. That was a big step in the right direction. I know it's not the result, and I know you're probably tired of hearing like keep your heads up all that stuff. This is a great challenge for our team to go through right now. This is unbelievable to go through. Obviously, we're building something here in Memphis that's long-term, sustainable. All those words we use, playing these meaningful games here in this bubble is awesome for us. Just the experience of this, playing against uh, you know, a lot of top teams, we was able to you know, see where we match up, where we can get better at. So we just have to take that continue to learn from it. We're getting the best from teams, honestly, right now, too. Teams is playing as different ways. Sometimes we've probably never even seen. It's almost a plus for us. I 100% think that this is making us better. I mean, the stretch that we just had of, you start off this with three games in four days. Every team that's here is competing for playoff spot. You're, you're not, there are no games off where you can't show up. That's ultimately great for our team and great for just, you know, considering that we are a young team, is getting experience like that and, and being able to do it together. People like coming at us like, okay, that's a team we need to get. But when it's like that, I think you have to regroup and think about just us. Like, block everything out and just focus on the team. And I think if we do that, we had a great chance. We just gotta keep doing what make us get where we are today. We gotta just stay solid. And, and, and play uh, greasy basketball. We know that our road doesn't end this season. You know, this is a, a young team, a bright future, but we want to live in the moment and make the most of the moment, but we know that we got a, a lot of work ahead of us. So just staying humble, staying hungry, I think is um, the biggest message and not getting down on ourselves because uh, we got a lot of basketball to play. Very, very sad news coming out of the Grizzlies that Jaron Jackson Jr. is out for the remainder of the season with a torn meniscus. It's like, what now? What now? The injury to JJ, another tough blow. He, he worked so hard to get back from the injury. He's a spirit leader of our team. What an unbelievable level of basketball he was playing at before he got hurt, you know, those first three games. It's next man up with our team. You know, that, that's how we've built this roster. It's a mentality this team embraces that there's losses that come your way. Results-wise, there's losses that come with injuries, unfortunately. But we all know that we're working together in this. For the guys that are able to play, they're going to do everything in their powers to give us the best chance to go out there and win. We don't have quitters on our team. Nobody else on the rest of the team is going to let anyone hang their head. Coach definitely isn't going to let anyone hang their head. And that's, uh, that's, that's pretty big for the culture of our team. Don't pick it up. <laughs> We got time to feel sorry for ourselves, man. At all. Ain't nobody feeling sorry for you. We got time, man. We know the position that we're in, but at the same time, like, you just, you gotta go out there next game and get a win. That's all you, all you can really worry about. We're making big strides. We're this close, right? A couple more shots fall, a couple of just solid defensive possessions. The team doesn't make a three, a couple breaks here and there. Do not leave this thing thinking, ah, man, this is gonna be hard. We're down this and all that. All you have to do is control one day at a time. We come back against OKC on Wednesday. Ball game. Right, take it Look, the only way to go is up. Yes. When you haven't won a game, you, you feel like something's gotta shake your way. If you can just win one, you never know what momentum happens after that. So get the first one just to get the monkey off their back then they can play freely. Special, as we show John Morant coming in, it is his daughter's birthday. He's wearing some special shoes today, so maybe you get a home run effort out of your point guard. Well, the other thing is this is a team that they've had a lot of success scoring in the paint. So let's see if the Grizzlies can get back to being who they are. Yes, they can make some threes, but attacking inside has worked to the tune of averaging 70 against this Thunder team. Taylor Jenkins making a move regarding the starting lineup. Brandon Clark will go back to the bench. Anthony Tolliver gets his first start in Grizzlies blue. What do you see in that change? Well, I think the change is because Anthony Tolliver's game more resembles Jaron Jackson, so the spacing on the floor will be similar. Oh, 
Houston. They, yeah, look away and a finish by John Moran. Anderson with a Euro step, Valentunis with a jackhammer slam. Oliver laces a catch and shoot three, his first of the game. Well, they're gonna need Oliver to jump up and knock down some shots. Melton, partially blocked by Noel. Valanchunas working hard for it. Dylan Brooks is back in. Tolliver's three is through. Tolliver, his second triple of the game. And a timeout thunder as the Grizzlies come roaring back from 18 down. They are within three. Jang screams. Ja lobs yeah. and Gorgie throws it down. Like the response from the Grizzlies. I mean, you get punched in the mouth, you go down 18. A, a, a great response. You win this game. You win this game. Jonas backing down. Oh, Yega. Yega. Big fella. Gildas Alexander. Dylan trying to tie him up. And Melton takes it away. <laughs> the Anthony Melton will get the slam. Gildas Alexander was like, can someone help me? These, they, they are too pesty. They've done it without Jaron Jackson Jr. They've done it without Tyus Jones. They haven't had Justice Winslow since the trade. And we can tell you for the first time from Orlando, hammer, nail, coffin, this baby is over. How did you know? Yeah! Good. Yeah! Yeah! You know, no matter the outcome of this, no matter how we play in the bubble, it'll be a good thing for us because of what we what we learned from it. Now, obviously, while well, being here and being in it, all, all I'm thinking is win. But when you take a step back and, and look at it as our group in a whole, and what we can accomplish, what we're working to accomplish, you know, no matter the outcome, as long as we're just competing our ass off out here, like we're we're gonna we're gonna get better and learn from it. I pray people don't leave. I try to take this picture. Who else is on there? Uh, uh, Josh and Gorgi. Yeah. If you know in the picture, they're gonna be like, "Where's Gia?" That just <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> hey, I'm about to take a picture, yo. Come on, man. That doesn't. Get off the bus. Get the hotel. Come on. Tell like, everybody to come on. Tell like, everybody to come on. Like, if you got your lanyard on, tuck your, tuck your lanyard. Hey, Jad, did uh, any doubt creep in with you guys starting off 0-4 in, in the bubble and then starting off today's game down 18 points? We never doubted ourselves, doubted, you know, what we can accomplish as a team. But, like, we all was very confident in our team. And but, like tonight, we just went out and, and played freely and, and we was able to come out with a win.